welcome viewers in this video we will see the generation of a three phase emf subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we will go to the topic how the three phase emf is generated let us consider this diagram there is a magnet available the both the side we have magnet n pole and s pole there are three conductors available because of three phase we are having three conductors are available named as r y b red phase y phase and b phase then each and every phase is displaced by 120 degree there is a red phase and y phase between red and y phase there is a 120 degree phase displacement then b phase and y phase there is a displacement of 120 degree from b phase to r phase there is a displacement of 120 degree so each and every coil these three coils red yellow blue are displaced by the 120 degree placed at a distance of 120 degree right r and y 120 degree phase displacement y and b 120 degree phase displacement b and r 120 degree displacement right now we'll see what is the working principle according to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction we know that whenever a coil rotates in a magnetic field there is a sinusoidal induced emf in that coil right based on the faraday's law whenever the coil rotates this coil is rotating in a magnetic field it is placed in a magnetic field whenever a coil rotates in a magnetic field and sinusoidal induced emf is in that coil emf is induced in the coil the nature of induced emf is the coils are already displaced at 120 degree so the induced emf also 120 degree displacement that is the 120 degree displacement between red yellow and blue right so coils are displaced by 120 degree so that the induced emf also displaced by 120 degree so we will see the further further details of this how the, the emf is generated now consider three coils c1 refers r phase c2 refers y phase and c3 refers b phase which are displaced 120 degree from each other on the same axis as shown in the diagram right now we consider coil c1 c2 c3 with respect to r phase y phase and b phase displaced at 120 degree with the same axis as shown in the diagram the coils are rotating in a uniform magnetic field produced by n pole and s pole in the counter clockwise direction with constant angular velocity right uh, these coils are placed in a uniform magnetic field that is rotating in that uniform magnetic field in a counter clockwise direction with a constant angular velocity now we'll see what will happen while rotating while rotating this what will happen we'll see that according to faraday's law according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction emf is induced in three coils the emf induced in these three coils will have phase difference of 120 degree because already the coils are placed at 120 degree so the emf induced in that also with a phase difference of 120 degree that is if the induced emf of coil c1 has a phase displacement of 0 degree let us consider the first coil c1 r phase the emf induced is 0 degree means then the emf induced in the coil 2 y phase is lag that c1 by 120 degree so after 120 degree emf will be induced in the second coil c2 r y phase and c3 lags by another 120 degree with the c2 right so the emf induced in the c3 that is coil b phase is another 120 degree with c2 while comparing with c1 it is 240 degree right so c1 r phase emf induced at 0 degree c2 y phase emf induced at 120 degree c3 b phase emf induced at 120 degree while comparing to c2 right so there is a phase displacement of 120 degree between all the three phases now we'll see the waveform now we'll see the waveform this x axis the time period is there and also it is given in terms of the degree 0 to 360 degree the y then y axis is voltage we have three phases r phase y phase and b phase 
right as we know that r phi starts at 0 degree right it reaches maximum at 90 degree and thereafter decreases and reaches 0 again at 120 degree this is called positive half cycle right start from 0 degree keep on increasing reaches maximum at 90 degree then start decreasing reaches 0 at 120 degree then start increasing in negative direction and reaches maximum at 270 degree then start decreasing in negative direction and reaches 0 degree at 0, uh, 0 at 360 degree this is called negative off cycle so entirely it is called a, a full cycle right cycle of a voltage right positive off cycle and negative off cycle start from 0 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree 360 degree this is called a full cycle right it starts at 0 degree then the y phase y phase starts at 120 degree the same process repeat increases and decreases keep on going but it starts there there is a phase displacement between R phase and Y phase is 120 degree lagging. Y phase is lagging the R phase by 120 degree. R starts at 0 degree but Y starts at only at 120 degree. Thereafter it follows the same procedure. Then this B phase. B phase starts at 240 degree. There is a phase displacement of B phase and Y phase is 120 degree. B phase and R phase is 240 degree. Right? It starts at 240 degree the same process repeats. Right? See this, this is the three phase waveform. R starts at 0 degree, Y starts at 120 degree, B phase starts at 240 degree. Let's keep on going. So at a given time, there is a some voltage is always available. It is around 1.67 voltage. There are three phases available, but one phase is increasing, another phase is decreasing, and another phase is decreasing, decreasing in positive. This is increasing in positive. This is decreasing in negative so by adding these three almost 1.67 times of voltage is always available but in case of single phase while adding positive off cycle and negative off cycle the net voltage will be zero right Baga, but here not about zero one phase three phases available alternatively going with 120 degree phase displacement so automatically we are always get 1.67 times of resultant voltage Right. See this, there is a 120 degree displacement between R and Y phase. There is a 240 degree displacement between R and B phase or 120 degree between Y and B phase. So based on that, we can see the voltage waveform, the voltage equation. So we will refer the R phase is the R phase is the reference phase. Reference will take R E R voltage across the R phase EM sin omega t EM is nothing but maximum voltage so it starts at 0 degree so there is no angle is available there is no angle available EY Y phase EM sin omega t minus 120 because it starts after 120 degree so we need to subtract minus 120 120 degree then B phase EB equal to EM sin omega t minus 240 degree because there is a uh, the, uh, the phase difference between B phase and R phase is 240 degree. B phase starts at 240 degree only. So that we need to subtract 240. Right. So R phase EM sin omega t the angle is 0. Y phase EM sin omega t minus 120 starts after 120 degree. EB equal to EM sin omega t minus 240 degree. B phase starts after 240 degree only. The above equation can be represented by the phasor diagram. We can represent by the phasor diagram that is shown below. So this is the R phase, Y phase and B phase. Right? Between R and Y phase there is a phase displacement of 120 degree. Between R and B phase there is a phase displacement of another 120 degree. Between B and R phase another 120. So each and every phase displaced by 120 degree. If we take R phase is 0 degree mean between R and Y 120 degree. Between R and B 120 plus 120 240 degree. Right. So finally it is the displaced every phase is displaced by 120 degree. So in this video we discuss about the how the three phase EMF is generated. The coils are placed at a displacement of 120 degree between each and every coil. So according to Faraday's law, EMF is induced, that EMF also displaced by 
120 degree. We verified with the waveform followed by the equation followed by the phasor diagram. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.